Hi guys, you are all very welcome to episode two of No Blasters with me, this bitch, Kieran Bartlett, and Dave Elliott. Today's episode is fraught with injustice and settings problems that lead the podcast and both men in a very dark place. So, I mean, who do you think is going to win? And uh, there's biscuits and shit, so stick around, we'll talk a bit of shit. With a full day of FIFA banter here, mm. and for some reason, just a fucking banana sitting on it. Is that for half time? Or? Today, uh, it's taken me a new year, new me, six days before I'm ready to start. So the bananas for my my on, health. On the feast of the epiphany, mm-hmm. that's when we're recording yeah, this. Yeah, the end um, of Advent. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard this today for the first mm-hmm. time in my life. Uh, I think this you'll enjoy this, though, because I know you're uh, a big Irish speaker like me. Um, yes. Uh, a uh, uh, Nolig Nolig Naman, which mm. is the one, the, the I think that's how they said it, the woman's women's Christmas, which is what do you hear this for a sort of nice thing, but sounds incredibly sexist. Now this was on the radio mm. on my way here. They were talking about this that this is like a feast in Ireland, a traditional thing where on the sixth of January, the man of the house takes over all the chores. Um, to say thank you to the woman of the house mm-hmm. for all all that she did over Christmas. Yeah, and I'm like, I think you'll find they were my rosemary and garlic roasties that wowed yeah. everybody. Yeah, and by everybody, I mean me and my wife. That well, was it, like, but I, they were fucking unreal. I went to the hardware store yesterday and bought lots of bulbs, replaced a lot of bulbs in the house, did a bit of hoovering, did a wash. But the, I know, but that was you yesterday. Know. What are you doing today? I just don't stop. Every day is respect your bitch day. Do you know what I like? <laughs> <laughs> every, day. Your bitch. every day do, do every you know day. what I enjoy I enjoy that on Nolig the Man we've both decided to come to this place to yeah. face off in FIFA like that. are you ready to get started yeah I am ready to get started good good I have, we'll have good guest uh, questions from people on nice. uh, on Le Twitter as well so uh, as always we're going to play best of three of FIFA we'll have one veto each on the league and three vetoes each on the team. We're going to randomise this league. So yeah, let me let me just ask quickly. So say you yeah. you beat me two and zero. Do you still? Because I'm out you of can, house for can, a bit. I can just still play a third. You game? can play the third game and play play nice. for your pride. Like yeah. you know what I mean. I like that. That's what you're thinking about it though. Yeah. What happens if I lose two games? I mean, all? I've I've, I've I, this is what I do now. So if, <laughs> I, so now I'm finished. I don't know what to yeah. do. I don't want to go back <laughs> home again. Do more chores. <laughs> <laughs> so um. I'm going to randomise this league, right? From okay. England, League One. So, Oh, oh shit. shit. The Brazilian league. Mm. Do we stick with it? Or uh, do we veto? We, I mean, we each have a veto of the I league. I think the Brazilian is very us, isn't it? Very sexy football. Warm climate by the sea. A lot of fun. Sweat lines. I mean, yeah, I'm can, all you imagine, can you imagine me living in a country as humid as as brazil like you would be the but like a guy that james bond would meet for advice who randomly you, lives in brazil what do you, you call know? the big yellow guy out of sin city i think that's what <laughs> I, I just the yellow it. bastard <laughs> yeah i think i just turn into him if i was fucking living there do you want to stick with brazil yeah, or do i we, mean do i think ra- right not all three games are brazil are they they would be so that's where i come i mean i'm i'm willing to i'm willing to veto it and go right hopefully well, get well, more yeah, eurocentric yeah we'll try yeah. it Palmeiras, though, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Let's be Brazil. We're Come going on. to Brazil. Yeah, do it. But do you remember the theme tune of the Brazil World Cup? Like every time there was a no. break on ITV, it would go Brazil, Brazil. I thought you meant their actual anthem. Was like, do 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 Yeah, they they have like a really a really cool yeah. anthem. No, Sounds I mean, good. I'm not going to come in, right, to the podcast and suggest changing the entire format, but could we just do a random select for each game, make it exciting that way, or does it all oh, have to be Oh, but then Brazil? you have to go through teams and all every time. But you just go bang, 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 one, whatever it's your, your He podcast. says he I'm doesn't want to change the I'm format. Against. Sounds I'm like that's what he wants. That's okay. Do you, well, do you want to stick with Brazil? Well, I'm, I'm interested to know what's next, but can we go back to Brazil if we can't? There was those who go, we go. No. I mean, that's we the risk, We can't go back. You can, you can, we can only veto it. Well, we're, I... Well, 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 you're, it's you're the boss. Your choice, whatever you. Feel I got a veto, Brazil. Okay, we're fair. gonna randomize it at least once more. Let's see. No, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't be in the Romanian league. I can't okay. do that. We're doing. This is the last league. He sounds like a sort of guy you just meet down your local uh, pub. You know, Gaz Matan. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a character. He definitely sells poppers for so, sure. <laughs> um, this is it, mate. Whatever, yeah. whatever this lands on this time, that's where we're going. Yeah. Oh yes, we Although, say oh, bon. look, though, 
Oh, we oh no, le- league, league, league One is their league, isn't it? Yeah, League yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, sponsored, sponsored by, by Uber, Uber Eats. Eats. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, magnifique. So get yourself to France oh, and, uh, yeah, mate, let's do it. The Uber Eats League One. Oh, I don't want to be bats. Then. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm going to randomise my team here. Oh, Lons? Not, I don't want to be long. The Racing Club de Lons. Do you know what I've been learning French recently? Oh. To read. Really? It's it's melting like here. Mm-hmm. It's 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 all in French. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not being lens. I lens. am, uh, believe it or not, very Ooh. good at French. I didn't study it at school. I just go to France on holidays a lot. And when I've had a pint, fluent. Really? Mm. You used to go. Where did you go? Nice in the Côte d'Azur. Did you actually? Yeah. I have a great niche story. Do you, you ever watch? Um. Do you ever watch? Uh, Ronan, the the movie Ronan. Yes. With. with uh, there's me glasses. I can't remember his name. Oh yeah, Stellan Skarsgård. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a bit in that. There's a scene in that where uh, Jonathan Price uh-huh. is like telling the Natasha McElhone mm. is telling her oh, like, that Natasha the Russians McElhone. are bidding for they're trying you know they're trying to get that case. Mm-hmm. The the director has clearly said, listen, we're just going to improv this. Get on that escalator. Yeah. Just tell her the Russians are in Nice. The case is in Nice. Yeah. Every, we're trying to get the case right. Yeah. Because this is the dialogue. In a bad Irish accent, the case is in Nice. The Russians are trying to bid for the case in Nice. The Russians, the case, and the case is in Nice. He just maybe says it all about four times. It's fucking awful. Did they get the case in Nice? <clears throat> they do get it in Nice. See, he, uh, Jean Reno helps him get it. Are you being That's met? Him. No, I'm, that was my first go right. for FC match. Randomize, randomize. Oh, well, and I've used one of my goals. Are you going to use? Actually, I've used two of my goals. So this is your last go. If I'm going to randomize, it might not depend on who you get. Oh, Strasbourg, fuck that. Troy, so I have one more then? Yeah. So we'll right. both have we'll one more it. or we'll one, both randomize. Can we do it after three? One, one two, two three. three. Oh, Lille. <gasps> the same team. <laughs> Mate. What happens? Exciting. Oh, we'll play. You'll be the we'll same have, team? We'll have to play, yeah. Right, okay. That's, that's, that's the most fair it's going to be. Yeah. Well, what I mean, I want I'll this. wear the white cap. I want the black one. We all know if it's not white, it's not right. Let's go. Oh, thanks for that second episode. <laughs> Podcasts cancelled. Being silent is being complicit. So, um, <laughs> what? Uh, cool, here we go. We'll go. We'll go team management, and then you can do your controller sense. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a thing within my group of my friend circle. Oh, hear me out. There's some players in this team. Yeah, well, I'm I'm obviously David's going to play because it's him. Do you remember him? Me. Font from uh, Jose. Yeah. Who else is in this? The Botman. I like look at him. Aaron Butler. There's a Wea on the on That's, the. Uh, I believe George Wea's young boy. See, I never, I you can't trust George Webb well because remember his cousin Ali Dia wasn't even his cousin. Yeah, but that's not his fault. I uh, well, you know my that. problem is I have a wee bit of an issue. Oh in, nah, nah. In terms of um, uh, picking teams, so I, a bit of me is like I won't have. It's not realistic if there's the same players in the pitch, so I might have to select the Carlin Cup lineup. So I might have to see your starting lineup and pick the Carlin Cup lineup. Oh my god! I well, just, I'm man. I'm. Do you know what? I'm gonna stick with this basic four four two. Okay, but can you do me a favor? Can you pick another striker? Because I just want to keep David. No, I'm keeping David. We're all keeping him. Fuck you. What are you on about? That's all right. Why can I? Why can I not? Have That's him? okay. You see, see, he'll come in do a job. For why me are you instead. changing it though? It's just something that gets on my nerves. What if we have the if, same players? Yeah, because it's not gonna happen in real life. This is not the Matrix. <laughs> Oh well, here that's all on you, mate. Because I'm happy to keep, I'm happy to keep these. Listen, that's okay. Well, you pick your team. You do you, baby boo. Oh, I love Renato Sanchez. I'm though. ready to go. Um. Well, see, as I was explaining before, I got so really interrupted there. I uh, and within my group of friends, there's a thing we have called uh, Melvilling, which is a guy we used to go to school with now. Early, What's early his school. Melville? His surname was Melville, but he used to. You definitely went to a prod school. He like he you. used to oh very much. He Where used to go? solve an upper. Did you call it Raise your Sally, voice. Sally Upper? Did you? No, I just called it the grammar. Um, the gr- <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> he would have spent time picking his teams and like really working the tactics. He was essentially the Thomas Tuchel of school back in the day. <laughs> and very much I'm now doing it, doing what we know as I a I can't mouthful. believe you're doing this. It doesn't matter. Why Listen, are you taking off all the good? No, do you know what I don't on. like about this? Sorry, yeah. I know I'm interrupting you again. But what I don't like about this is, if I destroy you, yeah, is that fucking Renato Sanchez sitting yeah. on the fucking? Did you? No, he started taking you. him off. Yeah. He's not, why are you putting him in the reserves? Because he is. Why not are you? Why? On. No, do you know what I don't like about this? Because if you lose, you're gonna say, "Oh well, I was using the card and yeah." But side. let me just say, 
what happens if Agazul Agazul scores a big header? <laughs> you know, we'll be happy. Jalo's the captain. Ronaldo. I can't believe you're doing this. Check you're your left back there. Every show player. me, show me your left back. Oh. Ronaldo. Oh, I can't. I gotta have a different left back. I actually can't cope with this. It was gonna be the most fur. Hey, listen. Test, like you know, like because it's like a Formula One thing. Don't worry, babe. Why do they not all drive the same car? Because that's this is what it's all that about. That melts me. But how look, do you know who the best driver is? You know like, what? If 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 what do you call them? Mercedes. They yeah. have the best car. So like, if, yeah. But, presumably they but should win. You my question is. Have, do you have an ass cone in your team? No, I've got an ass cone in my team. Oh my god! So don't look. Don't worry. I actually, I'm, I'm. You've annoyed me now, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to fucking winning. But here, talk about, <laughs> talk about, talk about your your stint at Sully Upper. Yeah, there we go. That's my team ready. Did you go there for seven years? Like the whole whack? Yeah, of course yeah. I did. Yeah. Um, I have now picked uh, only player that's the same in my match day squad as yours is David because that's my name. Oh, so David oh, might come on. Mommy. But listen. I trust the process. I like what we've done. I like the way you have set this up. That sometimes it could be random, but I just don't want to be this. It's not never is this going to happen unless they're all set of twins. So, <laughs> so I'm happy with my team, okay. Right, and yeah. I respect your team selection. And so I mean, go to settings then. And I would like you to respect me as a person, Kieran. Fair all right. enough. That's fine. I, I um, do. I respect. I respect you as a man. Thank you. Uh, thanks for getting me out gig in the in a brewery before Christmas. That was good times. It was, wasn't it? it yeah, was a lot sorry, of fun. not a brewery, a distillery. What do you call it? Copeland Distillery. Copeland Distillery. They, yeah. they were really sound. That was a great place. Um, they gave me a bottle of rum, which I'm definitely giving to somebody later today. But um, <laughs> the the Willie T. But um, what was I gonna say, mate? So sorry, what happened at Sully then? There was a Thomas Tickle figure. Yeah, and Melville, and he used to like when you played, like he would be like he would go into it, and look at the tactics. You know, he would be very tactical, and you'd have to, you you know, like back in the day before it was fun to watch people play video, you'd be all like, oh my god, and then by the time you got to play, he had tired you out mentally, ah, it, yeah, and he yeah. would just play such a shit standard of football, but always win. Let me just, why am I on classic now? And then you a fuck, right? Because you're hitting the LT and RT. I don't want. I don't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Bear in mind, I've never played one of these before. Oh my god! I've Mate, only. <laughs> why are we only booking people with excuses? Like, listen, listen. Butler came in here with excuses, and he got us. I don't have excuses. I don't have excuses. I'm. Mate, it won't stop me from putting you to the sword. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, listen. You do you. I said before, baby I only, blue. I don't want the FIFA trainer on. Gross. I can only beat what's set in front of me. Do you know what I mean? Listen, I'm here to have a good time and I'm here to get out of the house and I feel like life is good. And let's Did you not hear about uh, Novak Djokovic getting his uh, getting stuck at fucking Australian customs? Yeah, he's a fucking tube, isn't he? Mate, see tennis, is it the is it the most what's the wankiest sport? I mean I think golf's up there and cricket, but there's something super wank about tennis. Like the way the the way they all get on and all the way they dress. I think anything where you have to dress rare, like oh you have to wear white if you're playing on grass and all. Yeah. I know, man. I think there's something real wanky about tennis. Who's your favorite tennis player? My favorite tennis player. Agassi. Agassi. Andre Agassi. Do you remember? Do you remember his fucking? His now mullet? let me just check before I go out of this. I think that's what I want. Right. Okay. Now how do I go out without it? Hit B. B. Yeah. And and then hit. Uh, Empty. Yeah. Right. You're killing me with this, by the way. Here I just go. want to quickly check and make sure mine are fine. I'm sure this is all grave view. And you know what you used to do whenever you played back in the day? You used to, whenever Melville was Melvin, you'd go, Melville. Why does it not remember Melville? Mine? Melville. See, and then you just annoy your com- opponent. Do you know what I don't heads. understand? Why you wouldn't. That immediate, as soon as you said uh-huh. Melville, yeah. I was immediately thinking about Moby Dick. But, like, <laughs> also, like, why? I, I, what was he? Did anyone ever call him that? Melville, yeah, it was a surname. No, like Mo- I would have just called him Moby the whole time, but that's because I'm a fucking neb. Anyway. Oh, and by the way, who's the referee? Legendary level? Legend? Mate, you oh. want the goalies to be good, don't you? The goalkeeper. The- oh, that's so- you, mate. That's you. Where am I? Oh, I'm whipping mine in. Oh, oh, mate. How about show? Oh. oh, you went straight for it. Are you ready to play? Yeah, I'm ready to play. Hang on, I want to score one more time just to warm myself up. Well, I just oh, I'm, I'm banging them in. I'm up, I'm up a route. Did you see what was happening there? No, because I'm focused on my team here. All oh, the lovely football, Ulsport, classic. Yeah, it is a classic. 
Um, right, am I the am I the actually, whites? Yeah, right? you're the whites. Yeah. Mate, I don't know how you feel about. Do you play much FIFA right now? I've played the old time, yeah. Have you? Like, because you're getting fucking rimmed already there. Um, so I should have scored there. Anyway, you do you play a bit? Like, what is FIFA? Would FIFA be your go-to game? It would be my favourite if I if I have time is right. Do you play do you play less now that you're a daddy? I do, unfortunately. You know, I'd have had to bloody well grow up and life sucks, yeah. Uh is that true? It. Like, do you just have less time when you have kids? Is that true? Yes, they they, they kinda you have to do stuff because they can't unfortunately look after themselves properly as they should. When do you um, think that'll change? And I don't mean like when you well, think we'll evolve past that. I mean like well, when when whenever they're teenagers i hope oh no Jesus. that's gonna be a red card baton rouge if you play <laughs> baton rouge. unbelievable like i'm through on goal there and you just hack me down i didn't think it did i thought I, kieran you're at your you're at the dark arts here and i don't like it <laughs> oh mate speaking of which uh oh mate speaking of which did you see um what do you call every it seems that if you want to get famous now you just have to slabber about jk rowling and yeah <laughs> like i tell you what what inspired you to hit full power bar and drive the ball <laughs> in into portugal like what <laughs> are you doing there i was just trying to clear it out I, mean, I feel like i can't i haven't found any rhythm this side yet i don't know any fucking players oh i hate when i don't know them because then i don't know i can't i can't trust what i don't know do you know what i mean yeah Look at this. Oh, yes, mate. Don't know who you are. Right, hold on a second. I need to make a change. No, you can only no. You can only pause it when it's out of play. Right now. I'm Sorry, you can it. only pause. Yeah, no, out of play means like. Out, oh my god. Hold you're on. Weak dick. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. You're you, definitely sort of weak dick. It's gonna pause it you're, as the balls float. You're the you're net. you're getting yourself angry here, Kieran. No, no, you're making me angry by yeah, pausing. Because it? I'm doing a slide tackle when I want to do a contain, and that's not what Daddy wants. Oh, mommy, you need to change that controller to. Well, why is move over to when it's defense? So hold on, no, you've changed, you fucked it, you've made a classic. No, because it's not. I don't want to be classic. I want to be my alternative. This is so. Do you see what? Do you see what I have to alternate. deal with? Where's my one that I saved? Podcast. Oh my Where's God. the one that I saved? So, see, when I asked you, I don't want change this it, to... Change it to uh, alternate, and then you need to press RT again to bring it over to defense. Okay. The, pull the, the red now, trigger. But hold on, it's still not where I want it to be, Karen, all right? So, I um, need... I, have you seen that advert for strokes where you have to act <laughs> fast? Because my yeah. arms are starting to get numb here. You, I um, think I think you're being a bit silly. I think there's a flame. I think you're, I think you're, I think you're being a little bit silly. You're being a wee goat. A wee goat. How do I draw my goat? Right, my slide tackle so has got to be circle. What's going on? Were you more of a FIFA guy than pro? Yeah. I absolutely. I was right, and then pro took over for a while. But I had a question from and then and then now I'm back to FIFA. But there was a a question from uh, Philip on Twitter saying. What have Konami done? Uh, and why are they fucking around with Pro Evo with this? What did he describe it as? Uh, e football nonsense. nonsense. And I agree because they've changed their whole brand. Yeah, because I I've actually played Pro Evo the last the very last one, and then they did a season update. Now, um, that it, w- it just wasn't fun to play. Like back in the day, Pro yeah. Evo was the fun it was, one to it play. It was the best crack. Like yeah. whenever he had Adriano in the Adriano, voice. mate, everyone remembers Adriano in in that two. You know who I really one. also enjoyed, and a lot of people will disagree with me about this. Lucio. Oh yeah, he's a he fucking was, big boss. Was that when he, he was, was at that bar? Or he was at Inter when I was in enjoying Inter, his uh, his performance. Mate, Javier Zanetti used to be an absolute fucking warlord on that right that right back position, like. But no, Inter were Inter were the boys back in the day, and then Think actually right when I, when I see were back in the day as well. Who? I see AC, Milan. Uh, as well. Milan. We got a bit of Ebra. Oh my god! So no, that's another file. What are you doing? Well, oh my god! Listen to you. You're a dirty wee bitch. I'm lovely. So, yeah. uh, what was I gonna say? Have you any uh, any gigs that you want to plug this year? How was the Ulster Hall? Ulster Hall was very sexual. Oh, do you see what's happening? Yelmas, Yelmas! Ah! Oh, I feel so good. That was a Did good you goal, see that? Yeah, it was a good goal. Did well you done. like that? I Sorry, did. I get very animated. I get very animated. Mm. I, and it's not... It's all from in here. How's your heart rate? My heart rate's okay. Mine's through a fucking roof right now. 
I should have watched that goal back just to make you suffer, but I want to get another one quickly and then make you watch that. So, sorry, I distracted you by making you talk Not about okay. yourself. No, my um, Ultra Hall is beautiful and I'm excited about doing it again. When When is the next one? Right, hold on a second. Why is this guy slide tackling when I hit the fucking wrong button? Like, button i want to slide tackle circle and this is not is working this, is this because you fucked it i don't know because you aren't letting me pick the controls i can right. not control how i demand you're picking up we're not letting him pick no. the controls you spend it's not more saving. time i keep asking how do you save it and you just keep telling me and it's fake news you're destroying news. me you're destroying me go go to your settings like why is that not right. in whatever right. i have done have done do you want to give me it and I'll, I'll fix it for you i want it saved right but if you you're oh you're not listening again. You've brought me to play Press a game of golf and give me right a trigger. Ball. Press the right trigger. You're welcome back to No Blasters episode two, the reckoning with me and Dave Elliott because Dave's controls are fucked, and uh, all we've done for the last ten minutes is watch him count around. So it's been great, but uh, now I have to put him to the sword officially. How's that working, Dave? Is it working um, better? I don't know. I need to. I need to get. Well, get a try to hit a board. shot. I'm letting you go. Right, hold on. Try, just... try, just hit it from her. No, that's not sprint, right? So, no. Right, well, well, FIFA won't save his custom controls, but that means he has an excuse if he doesn't win. He he has an excuse when I beat him. Having said that, he did make me. Oh, mommy, are you pausing this again? Just to making sure my settings are all right. And they're all on the right sides and all. See, that's on classic, so. Well, just change it to alternate then. The trigger. There you go. And just go with that. That'll that'll change your shoot and all. That's around okay. the way that'll there. help a wee bit. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, the, the best bit of the podcast so far has definitely been watching all those control changes that then don't save. But um, so you were saying, when's the next Ulster Hall gig you're doing? Um, sometime September. I don't know the exact date because my head's so fried with these controls. But I think it's the tenth of September. What happens whenever uh, I destroy you on this? By the way, is this like something that you're gonna take home? No, I mean and, like take out on your kids. What I will like, say, it's just it's not really fair because I can't control it. I mean, correctly. when you talk about fairness, uh, I, I can't. Oh, he's giving a penalty away. Oh, Dave. He's raging. <laughs> yeah, because when you press that, the slide tackle and it, or but the, the, the we normal tackle, some slide people, tackles in. Some Bullshit. people would say Bullshit. there are starving children in Africa, Dave, <laughs> and you should get over this. Yeah, well, they need to get over it too. We'll, we'll, um, well, well, I'm over. about to bury this with Barack Yilmaz, so let's do it. Up the hoods. Did you see that? Did you see that? He actually looks like a hood as well. He definitely looks like somebody who would fucking steal a Peugeot 306. So... Mm-hmm. Um, more important matters. Uh, you don't know when your Ulster Hall gig is. Tenth September. He knew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I knew it was in there. So, um, yeah, we do we do need to discuss some important matters here. Uh, where we're talking about Novak Djokovic. Mm-hmm. What do you make of? I want I want you to get yourself a lot of enemies here. What mm-hmm. do you make of his non-vaccine status? Oh my God, Yelmaz! <laughs> what is? It? Do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to not play FIFA? And we'll just talk. Mm, yeah, ra- I would rather talk because can nothing, I? Can I claim this? Nothing annoys me more in my life. Like I have thrown controllers at venom in the walls. Don't do that in here, do though. Because what I want, and I'm trying to play here, rented. but this what? is not working. Anything I'm trying is not working, so I'm trying to not be angry. See when you slide your, your controller across. You uh-huh. Mm-hmm. For your controls, for your I, well, that's that's worth looking at. I mean, it should be, but I mean, it's it's like very frustrating, um, and I don't know why it's setting because again, I I play PlayStation, and there you go. No, no, I'm bringing you into this to see. Yeah, if you but hit that's the trigger. but that that's back to classic it did, it once did again. Change it again yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, I changed the alternative, and I have done. Is that. there an option for you? No, no, is that it? I just don't know what's happening. And it's like, Xbox, be a PlayStation. You know, just be a PlayStation. It's a fun podcast so far. I'm try. If I could play, look, if I could play properly, it would be so why, much fun. Why don't we, why don't we. It'd be so much fun. Why don't we say, I win. Mm. And then, and then I'll give mm. you what we can do, the biscuit item. Mm. Mm. 
I mean, I will just play, but I'll not get angry because you know I can't play. <laughs> I'll just try to do what I, I try to do. I know, but it's, I mean, realistically, what's wrong with the Xbox? Why is it not saving? I don't know. I mean, it's a it... very bit. Why Xbox have a feature that you can amend controls and not let it stay that way? You know? I don't know what to say. Like. Mm-hmm. I know. It's very annoying because I could give you a fun game of FIFA. It would be a nice, fun, but no, I, I cannot because of this stupid well, setting. Do you want to change the teams and I play with No, both no, it's, it's sweet. I'm just going to just. I'll just play. The, I'll just keep the ball. Well, here, Dan, do better. you want to give us a couple, a couple of them questions we'll discuss? Okay. How do you get in the zone to write new comedy material or fiction? I'll tell you how I get in the zone. I, I, I get set, ten, spend half an hour setting up settings, <laughs> and then it doesn't do what I want it to do. That's how I get in the zone. <laughs> and I mean, I tell you what, I, I put me in. I could be Francis and Gano right now. I'm not that angry inside. I don't know who that is. He's the UFC heavyweight champion. He probably right. kick my head up, but I'm not angry. Okay. And well, I tend to get. Do you know how I get in the zone? I watch something like if it's if it's for writing like a, a script, I watch something that I've seen loads that I like. So I'll watch something like A Few Good Men or like Chef or something that I've seen loads. Of. Did you ever watch Chef? No, is that the one? Oh, with the, the Favreau movie. Oh, oh yeah. It's fucking. He's great, Favreau now. I a, lot, a lot of people give that movie shit. I think it's great, Panther. Um, I watch that all the time, and I watch a few good men and shit like that. Aaron Sorkin, absolute oh lord. My God. And that sort of gets me in the mood to write shit. Um, and then Dave has an aneurysm because his controls aren't saved. But um, what was I gonna say? See, honestly, like, I swear to God, nothing in my life gets me this level of annoyed nothing that's what I'm saying we can just leave nothing the nothing no because this is what the, so I mean what's good about it it's only an early sp- or early episode so you can hopefully iron this out to give other players chances in the future it's not them we're doing like it's, you've seen it like it's the fucking Xbox it's the, <laughs> it's the tech it's the tech as in Belfast Met it's mm-hmm. their fault um, a lot of things in my life are the fault of Belfast Met so um, oh mate no, uh, and then if I'm trying to write new comedy, I think I think one of the ways that I do that is I just uh, <laughs> I I just like go uh, and start talking shit to people, and like uh, try to like say things. <laughs> this is so shit. Mm. Just try to say things that I think are funny, and then I just remember the ones that people laughed at, and then try them on stage. That's like I don't really write stand up down. Do you still write it down? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I would. I would sort of. I would, something would happen and I, it's always I, I think would this be funny if this happened or a moment happens and then it's like how do I put the rest around to fit that one funny thing in like yeah. the bit I did in my last show The Closer where my mum thought I died yeah Um. oh my God. I I um, <sighs> want to kill I actually want to kill myself I actually want to kill myself don't do that like, I I'll, I'll be so awkward on experience. this podcast it would, yeah. it would be more awkward than it already is if you actually killed yourself. I know. Could you imagine that? We would have to, like, deal with it and all and, like, fuck's sake, man, I don't want to deal with it. Um, yeah, no. So what was, what was the closer about, about the bit where... Yeah, you, about where... So, like, I had a bit where my mum thought I died. So I had to, like, basically build the, the bit up until that. Yeah. You know? See, I... A lot of mine starts off as just improv. Mm-hmm. Uh, stand up like and even, he just snapped his legs and half ref come on even the music even the mm-hmm. music just starts off as me fucking around do you know what's a great time in in my house sometimes or Kevin will come in and me him and Chloe will literally just sit we'll pick a tune and it doesn't even happen you don't go right we're doing this it just starts somebody will sing something foul the tune that everybody knows you'd be surprised how often it starts off as like you know, like an Irish folk song or something, or like a fucking, yeah. uh, like like that that whole Willy Wonka bit started off that way. That Candyman thing, and I'm yeah. doing it at the minute. And um, did you did you always sort of like, would, did your comedy stuff come from like? It was obviously a lot of your family are musical. Would a lot of the stuff have come from that? First of all, like you were saying, you're riffing there with Kev. Would that have kind of been? Yeah, I think like I mean I can remember like going back years and years ago like. 
you remember there's a song by a band called I think they're called the Brotherhood of Man uh-huh. and it's that it goes like long ago high in the mountains of Mexico <laughs> and in, in our house that got changed and this whole thing you know it was yeah. like lived a young shepherd boy Angelo he met a girl and he loved her so but in my house that was like Lived a young cannibal Angelo. <laughs> he met a girl and he ate her toe. You know what I mean? And that was like my sisters and all used to do that shit. We all just used to make up stupid words of songs. And then yeah, I've kind of fucking monetized it. So great times. Oh mate, must be, must be. I mean, it is a hollow victory, mm. but I'll take it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's fair. I it's mean. like it's like you know, like if you were like boxing a child you'd still want to win if i feel like you're boxing a child with no arms it's disabled yeah. heavily that's that kind is, of that is this, that this is, is what like something just, i would do to be i fair. feel like nothing annoys me more than injustice apart from injustice <laughs> nothing, no, nothing annoys me more than injustice apart from injustice against myself <laughs> and i feel and i feel like your t- production team have set out with the sole intention of making me angry and have succeeded well, well say, say that is what they've done mm-hmm. they're they're fucking mm-hmm. doing a great job I mean, you're telling me to sack them. I'm sitting here going, mate. If if that was their objective, mm. achieved. What uh, I'm saying, like, I, I listen. I'm I am a sportsman. I am a gentleman. I am a I'm a very. I'm, my problem is I'm beyond competitive. I'm is, be, that, is that I am a problem? Beyond for you? competitive, and I feel like if I have the fair tools to compete and I lose fairly, I put my hands up and shake your hand. Do you know but what's going to be mental like, when they have to try to edit this together into something? Well, good. I hope it's a fucking nightmare for them because this is experience has been a nightmare for me. So I hope they experience the nightmare that I've experienced in the are, are you normally good at FIFA? I'm good, yeah. Really good at FIFA. This is why it's annoying. Like, what would you say? Like, if you were... Oh, mate, that was mm. a wee chance. I play Legendary and I win Champions League. Right, but do you play against people online? No, because I'm 35 years old. I play so, against the computer. Right, no, see, I reject this. I play against the computer. I've had I've had some wee dick on uh on I was playing Insurgency the other night and some wanker. I, I was fucking killing it by the way. Some oh that's a penalty ref. Uh some wee wanker was like, Hey Mr. Bay, what are you playing this for? You're like nearly forty. <laughs> I was like, Well your maths is awful, but um uh fuck you. Like wh- no no one would turn around to somebody in a cinema and go, oh, you can't come and see this. You're, like, nearly 50. Do you know what I mean? What, so yeah. video games are just for the youth? Yes, I, I believe Fuck so. Off. Because, like, oh, I don't. you have to do other things, like, you know, calculate your food budget costs and, like, mor- I don't have mortgage to calculate payments. That. I just I spend what I like. Other things, you know. On what I like. Oh, did you have a good Christmas dinner, Dave? No, no, because I was sick. Um, <laughs> Were you? Yeah, I had, I had the lurgy. Not COVID, but just like whatever. You weren't well on Christmas? No, it was miserable. Shit. It was miserable. You know, I just... not Honestly, though, not as miserable as this um, game. This experience for me is, has been the worst experience of my life. Um, the today, worst experience, the worst experience, of, experience of, of my life, yeah. So no, it hasn't. It has. You're bound to have had worse no, things happen to you in life. because I can't... I've tr- done worse gigs than this. I haven't. This is this have. this has been the worst I, I experience. You've, but you've had a very blessed comedy life, then, mate. You've cl- mm-hmm. you've clearly never been to any of those real rotten fucking gigs out in the middle of nowhere, have you? Well, I've been to Lisburn, <laughs> which is is why are you slagging my hometown, bro? <laughs> but you're a West Belfast guy, and a Lisburn um, guy, really at heart. So I think I think Lisburn is slowly becoming like a haven for people like me from West Belfast well, I was going to say yeah. we like nice things but we don't want to pay for them but per capita Lisburn also has the most number of people who don't work really um, yeah uh, apparently so I, d- I do work though I mean this is well, my you job. work yeah this is my job now I, yeah screwing, screwing I, your friends over and wrecking wreck their days people on FIFA. Yeah. Okay. I mean it is 3-0 there doesn't appear to be any sign of a comeback you know yeah, I, can't I mean play look, the look, game. Look I can't play the game doing. that's what I that's what I'm saying I don't know that you are a good FIFA player. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. That's fair. You, you, you I, believe I'm, you I'm basically sitting here like Palpatine going, good. Yeah. I'm just like... No, listen, it's okay. There are people out there who enjoy to win by any means, whether it's <laughs> hollow or not. You know, the people, that's the way they are. Do you think... Do you, do you think uh, when Vladimir Putin wins elections that he gives a fuck? Like, do you know what I mean? No, I mean... That he, he, that, that he was always going to win it. 
I think, Crush. but I think he, much like yourself, would take pride in that hollow victory, even though it's fixed. Like this is fixed. This is match fixing of the highest order. Well, this the, this week's podcast is sponsored by John Fashion You so. Do you remember him? Oh, I made a wee chance for you. Oh, he's got it. I know. I would have enjoyed one. You would have. I would have enjoyed You one. would have enjoyed it to be like. That's a save. I can even. That's I, a save. I can even score. And a world class save. Oh, I think it was just a. The trajectory of the ball changed off the keeper's hand. I think it was a world class wide. Mate. But um, yeah. have we any other questions for Dave? Can I just say that um, is this will go down in history as the worst episode of this podcast, I would imagine. It won't. It won't, because we've, uh, we've still got to do one with Paddy, so... <laughs> but he'll uh, it'll not annoy him. I think I'll rinse Paddy on FIFA, but he'll rinse me in real life, and yeah. that'll hurt me, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, look, what we should do, really, is, oh. uh, out, out of respect, is is actually get your tech working right, and then invite him back. There was a good question, actually, do. that I saw. Somebody said, playing full of local comedians goes down on, yeah. like, a desert island. And it was who who would be first one to go for help, who yeah. would be the first one to cry. cry, and who would be the first one to like suggest eating somebody. You know what? I, I mean, there's comedians that I would eat without having to be on a desert island. You know, I am. Um, I feel Shane like must be fairly lean. I feel like now I'm very much like without the alcohol in in the mindset of purple dread here. Like I feel like, or no, purple tooth. Sorry, purple no, tooth. purple dread. Yeah, I thought. Is, pu- is purple dread uh, what purple tooth becomes when yeah. it's angry? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> purple tooth is uh, very much my um, my alter ego that just spits the truth and sometimes not very nice. Um, I mean, it is and, a hollow victory. And why did he? Why when I was just about to do a break, did he do that? Um, I don't know. But yeah, I feel like with that, I I would be very sly to a lot of comedians at the minute. I feel like a lot of them aren't grounded in the real world, so would act like prima donnas i would kill them all you kill them I'd all i kill them all it's very uh, yeah i would Lord kill them the all i would you? strangle them and crush their heads or rocks then i would just sit with a conch and eat their fingers oh my god what's a conch the conch from lord of the rings all right for yeah. you uh i i feel like mm-hmm. i would definitely be among the first to weep i i'm i'm but a weeper like. you're you are a brain man though Mate, I cried watching Queer Eye last night and I have no shame. But, yeah, um, because they're allowed to be out in public getting on again. <laughs> That's what I'd be, I'd be saying. Listen, get those guys in prison. I mean, one way or another, you're That's trying, joke, to, get this, you're trying to get me cancelled. I, uh, <laughs> no, I, I cried watching it, mate, because they, ch- they, cha- they changed this old uh, old surfer guy's like uh-huh. restaurant form and made, oh my God. Into it what? Was, a it, sauna? It was... <laughs> <laughs> In the yeah, in the uh, fucking nicer restaurant, we dick. And then, uh, who would who if you had to eat a comedian from here, who would it be? I'm trying to think who would be the, who you get the who's, most muscle. Whose body muscle would you want to be on your breath? You know what? Who would you want to burp? I would say if you were selling bodies as meat, mine would get the most money because I'm Wagyu, mate. I've got that fat marble, yeah, but yeah, there's mom, muscle mom. in there too. A lot of fat on it, but there's. But there's nobody that like is, is you know what? Maybe Roland Boyle. He's quite a big muscle muscular yeah. fella. I'd eat him. Um, I think I I would satay skewer Shane. I think that yeah, would be good. But you would get nothing off him. He'd be like eating crocodile. <laughs> you just get the bone, and you know it'd be. Have you ever had that? Yeah, I I've heard Lovely. that it's like fishy chicken. It's just it's it's, a, it's, an, it's annoying fish. There's not very much on it. It's very bony, and just, you get a little bit. It's not. Well, you know what? I would only eat a crocodile again if I killed it myself as a show of strength in the in the wild jungle. You prawns always doing. Get us with a good date. What what would you what would you do? Get us a good thighs on. Who who would you who would you most want to be stranded on a desert island with? Who do you think would help you survive? Bar in mind, mm-hmm. I've seen all Ray Mears videos recently. Yeah. There's some funny about watching Ray Mears. Like yeah. teaching me how to clean my axe while yeah. I'm sitting taking a shit. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, I have no intention of being outside. But I'm just um, sitting. I'm learning how to sharpen a knife on a whetstone. I feel like McCarney is more of an outdoor guy, or McCagney. Well, they'd be handy outside. Would, they, yeah. yeah, they'd maybe they'd be they'd handy save outside. You. I mean, Shane would die instantly. Shane would come up with an idea. He'd be like, "We should make a something out of something," and you go, but "That doesn't go." He's like, w- apparently water's conductive, so we should use the wires off this live airplane that's gone down, and we should try and push it into the sea, and we'd all die of elect- electrocution. <laughs> I would, uh, I think... what That's an insult. I, I that's, love that. That's an insult I love to my that. face. I think I, I would most... 
I think I would probably I, I'd most like to be on an island with like let me see sorry one shot to your 20 I know and you hit it wild I, I, I um, you thought the goalie saved it but in reality um, he didn't I, I think I'd most like to be on an island with somebody uh, like Pally I, I'd quite like to, I'd quite like to watch his descent and the madness what's this We'll have mm -hmm. to do the next round of the Biscuit World Cup. Right, okay. This is fucking serious, by the way. Right, okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to have fun with this. The the big guns are coming out. This yeah. isn't any fucking about with a, a Garibaldi or what, what or, or a gold bar. This is fucking real. Into there, these are, loves it. These are serious biscuits, mate. Right, okay. We're going big hitters today. Both from the McVitie's family. Mm -hmm. Hobnobs, mate. The Odie one. And I don't know if that's meant to be a joke, as in uh -huh. the only one, because for me, this is a yeah. fucking potential finalist in the World Cup. Just throwing that out there. And then this, I thought this was an interesting bit of political packaging from McVitie's. Yeah. Digestives, the nation's favourite. Chocolate digestives. What nation are they talking about, Dave? That's what I'd like to know. The United Kingdom. Is it a fucking, is it a fucking 32 Let's county sovereign state? What? You work away on them. The uh, McVitie's? I don't know. I, I've got to say it's Eng English, isn't it? Let's see English. where it's from. Oh, no, it probably is English. Yeah, oh, it's, wait, though. It's come from... Mate, oh, I I'm, I'm getting Republic here. I Yeah, the nation's, the free state's favourite. Here we go. The crumbs of revolution in this packet, <laughs> mate. So, are you a fan of digestives or hot knobs? Hot. If What's you your go If you combine and you get a chocolate hobnob, nothing's better. That, that is nothing's unbelievable. Better. Nothing's better. I couldn't find any chocolate hobnobs yesterday nothing's and I had better. to go in and buy about eight packets of biscuits. I mean, the woman at the till. Mate, I did a car crash of a shop in this place yesterday. Where'd you get it? Cretans at the bottom of Black's Road. Oh. The, There's three the Cretans. There? Well, no, the I didn't go to the legendary the one. The Finney one. It's the legendary the one, one, isn't it? Or Finnicky, as people yeah. would call it. But, but <laughs> it's such an Finnicky. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I went I went to um, I like de-robing a hobnob like that you know when you take the wee top cap off but the have one right <laughs> I was just going to really try to snatch does it does anybody there, else dude? want the hobnob he's good he's are fucking missing out this woman definitely looked at me with mm -hmm. type 2 diabetes judgement on her face because I went in I was getting some sparkling water mate or Kevin's not well ready. He fucking sent me. He, he he sent me messages and phoned me the day before yesterday, yeah. going, "I like croissants, right?" Yeah. But he can't go out of the house because he has fucking Omicron, right? So I had to go. <laughs> I had to go get him croissants out of Cafe O and bacon out of Cretans, right? But you know what I would have said to him? Do it yourself. He, but he can't leave the house. If I'd say do it yourself. No. I, I, what I would do is go and get what he wants. Just send him a. I I did also get the same mm. thing. I got a frost too, but. I went so I went and got I went and got the the bacon right in the garage. Yeah, I love garage meat, and I went and got uh, I filled my car up and I filled up the gas card for the the mm -hmm. heating right. Yeah, and then oh my god! So this woman's like serving me, hating it, and then I load up because I'm sent here kind of keep. I'm getting sparkling water for me, sparkling water for Kev. Kind of yeah. keep one bottle of that separate. Kind of keep one packet of the bacon separate yeah. in a different bag. Just you know what I mean? Yeah. And she was hating all of this. Mm -hmm. And then I um, I loaded up about eight packets of biscuits. I yeah. dropped my car keys three times during this. Like I thought there was something wrong with my hand, right? But it was just because I was wearing gloves. Made she hated me. Eight packets of biscuits. And uh -huh. she definitely was judging me for being a wee fat boy. Look. Where are the other biscuits? What? Are they for the, the podcast? or for the, ne the next episodes, mate. I've, okay. I've lined up, mate. There's going to be a Rocky versus Kit Kat showdown. So... And I got the book on digestives. You're, you, <laughs> mate, me. I'm giving you the fuck. Where are the, the Kit Kats at? Where are the Kit Kats at? You can take one home. Are you, they chunkies? Anyway. Or are oh. they fingers? Finger. Nah, you got to have the chunks. ASMR, listen to this. The people love it. <laughs> out of 10. Uh-huh. Out of 10. A hobnob? Some people think it needs tea. It would be better with tea, but it's a 7. A hobnob. Yeah, that's a seven. That's lies, like. A chocolate hobnob's a ten. Chocolate hobnobs probably are a ten. They're probably mm. like fucking Brazil 1970. Like. See, whenever you have a bit of a cough, mm. not COVID, they catch in your throat a little bit and then you cough too much. Hobnobs? 
Mm. That's why you need the moisture. You need something wet to and put on do your you hobnob. Like, do you? Would you use that as a word? What do you mean? You know, like you and Shane and I were hobnobbing on Zoom yesterday. No. 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 I would just say we were. We were. We were making history on Zoom yesterday. Really, weren't we? We Speaking were just being. Mm-hmm. And yes, I'm pointing out to him the baby finger with a biscuit in my hand. I we were talking about this earlier when people try to fuck you, <laughs> when you say, "I'd like a Zoom meeting," and they yeah. send you a fucking Teams link. It's the, worse. It's the can I have a diet coke? Sorry, sorry. Can I have a diet coke? Is Pepsi Max okay? Is that okay? Can I yeah. pay that? But you know what? Pepsi Max does kind of taste nice, doesn't it? It's fucking Italian lira, okay. Um, <laughs> So here, you're uh-huh. giving that a seven. Yeah, I mean for me, a hobnob is a solid eight, like mm-hmm. well, maybe one, a nine. It's one in it though, so it's not that. No, but it might. I mean, realistically, I wanted to say nine, uh-huh. but I'm taking it down to up the tension. That's fair. A chocolate digestive, the nation's favorite. These are these are what they had in Kilmainham just before they shot all the leaders. So, oh wow. Um. Thank you. I already know I'm going to prefer the hot mob. You know what, though? A digestive makes you sort of sexy and, like, excited in a very missionary way. You I'm know, annoyed, it's a basic. Though. A regular digestive is a five. A chocolate right. digestive. I'm annoyed that these aren't the dark chocolate ones I thought they were. You know, that's nice, but the hot knob is too much flavor. Hobnob's way better, isn't it? Hobnob's way better, yeah. You know what? That's a that's a six. For me, that's like a five. Yeah. So hobnobs go through? Yeah. Happy to do that? Happy to send the hobnobs through. Can I finish eating this and just let yeah. people watch me and listen to it? You long? know what I think is the problem with the controllers are here? What? It's the online setting. I think because we're set online, it's saving it to be like some sort of online game. Whereas if it's an it? offline, I think it'll save. It? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't... There is bound to be a way of, um... Can I ask an honest question? Producers, what do you think of this episode? It's just whatever the settings are, are stupid. And this online, and the world is going online in the metaverse. And all those Zuckerbergs and all the nerd virgins of the world that sit in their rooms forever with, like, flashlights behind them and play, play, play. No, real world. Go out and play football in the street, kids. That's what the me- message is here. Have, we, have we another question to start this game off with? What do you think the turning point was for games and gaming becoming more mainstream? The fuck. I'm just going to go straight alternate here and then that's it, all right? Yep. And we'll just have to wing it. Um, so what's the turning point for games going more mainstream? Fuck. The Nintendo probably in the 80s. Like, I mean, if you're going back that far, like that sort of stuff, if you're talking about now, like the PlayStation in the 90s, like... I mean, but I remember. Do you remember when the PlayStation came out? Everybody had one. Like. I think the big change, though, too, is the fact that you used to just get a game and pop it into the wee machine in the console, and that was it. Whereas now, I used to enjoy blowing into the cartridge, as it yeah, were. Yeah, like that, um, that was good old days. Yeah, and also the games well, were fun what's too. What's your favorite old game? Um, like I did always like I used to like FIFA until this day, um, but I also enjoy. There's loads of other games I liked. Like, I was a big fan of the wrestling games, the Smackdowns of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did you see what's happening? Oh. And I also liked... I Crash Bandicoot. It was a lot of fun. Cool Borders. You know, uh, cool um, Borders was fucking 20, great. 2090 something. 2090. Butler was talking about Crash Bandicoot as well. He He's still playing that shit. I like that. Yeah, but he is... He's a man boy. <laughs> you know, he's a bizarre young chap. Well, this is what I was talking about earlier. So, do you have less time to play games now that you've got kids? I, I just have noticed, because then again, like back in the day, whenever I was happy, I used to like just live by myself and stuff. And I had a housemate that we, we just played FIFA, and it was great. Mm. They, were good, they were good old days. Whereas now, kids watch the TV, my wife watches TV when we're like, yeah. you know, I don't have a like private, uh, I don't have a private um, games, games room, room, you know, yeah. so it's the, the, the public television. I, w- um, I would begrudge yeah. giving up my game space for a do youngster. You, like. Do you have a, an area? Well, I have a, ha- I have a good PC that I work on. Yeah. And then, uh, so I play games on that. And then my Xbox is just with TV. But then, uh, like, we would tend to watch a lot of stuff. We would watch TV together. 
Yeah. And then I'll usually sit there for another half an hour, an hour after we're done watching TV and just beat a few fools. Oh, mate! He claims the controls don't work. And then he bangos one from outside the box. And I don't even know what I'm doing. And that was oh, just... Oh, mate. What a goal that was. By the way, that was 10 out of 10 for me. Boom, suck it. It's a great finish. That's a superb fair. goal. Now, what do we do next? Now there can be no complaints. Do you, oh. know, do you know what I'm just thinking? What's that, mate? There's an annoying setting on the TV that isn't right at the moment, but sure, fuck it. Um, Listen, don't worry about settings, mate. Stop your complaining. I know, don't worry about Stop settings. Stop your complaining about settings. That's, just, this, yeah, that's, the, name cry, this, that's the name of this episode. <laughs> settings. Um, yeah, fuck. I think uh, games that sort of went mainstream for me were like... Um, Definitely, like, big franchises like FIFA and stuff like yeah. that coming out every year. Oh, I've remembered a fresh one here. Do you remember Duke Nukem? Yeah, I remember Duke Nukem, yeah. He was superb. The I remember they had, they had one class game and then loads of shit ones. That's my memory of Duke. Uh, that's a penalty, Riff. Stop giving him penalties. Stop following me in the box. Is, oh, stop sending me off. Court Rouge. Suck my oh, balls. Who is this guy? Mate. Who is this guy? I don't know. But ben Watt Halliard? Fuck you, Ben Watt Halliard. We're, we're sponsored by a fucking bakery oh. here. Right, hold the on. The Boulanger. I, I, need, I need to go in the Melville zone here. Oh my God. Sorry, he mate. Has, Sorry. Or is Melville really you? <laughs> and you? You've just said, oh, there was this geek that used to like fucking get stuck in the settings all the time. But Jalo's coming on now. The you know, it's like fucking I am Lord Voldemort or something. <laughs> Tom Marvolo Riddle and Melville's really yeah. you. I, listen, oh, don't mate. worry about it. How do you dive in this? Are you getting older in a book somewhere? You know what I mean? Uh, well played, David. Are you a Harry Potter fan? I love the Harry Potter. I need to score this. Oh, you weak cunt. <laughs> I tried to go sneak down, down the middle. And he did you with Jens Lehmann dancing he on did. the line, didn't he? He did, didn't he? Yeah, he made himself big. Do it! Oh, you weak Did pube. you just shout, do it? Do it. Oh, I thought that was like your wee trademark thing. When you're about to score, you just scream. Just dude. scream, dude. No. Dude. Well, I just want to about to score. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude is a fucking great word. Do you know what's mental though? I would say that that's that's the dude. Dude is my the verb for hitting the horn in the car. A doot doot. A, you know, I did yeah. the horn. Okay, when did dude go from being a horn to being a fanny? Like that's. I know. Like, <laughs> It's weird. Yeah, when, did, when did games become mainstream? When did the, when did the doot doot become a, a lesbian threesome? Like you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> doot doot horn. That's funny. Um, are you feeling a bit better about this game, Dave? Even though you're down to ten men for being you're a scything bastard, by the way. Like I don't know what I'm doing, Karen. I hit the you, wrong you button. Say, I'm trying to make this. a slide tack or a wee, these things. a wee touch tackle, and I just bone you. You know, you have you have fouled so many of players. Look, like I didn't mean. You know, to, you know that that's coming. Why is that not in? Oh, what? Who's in your nets? I know it's the same keeper I have. <laughs> I know, but he's what they save. That is absolutely fantastic. That's a fucking. Boom. That's a huge save. That's a semen right there. Semen. So that's right. You're an Arsenal fan, aren't you? Are you yeah. Enjoying the season. Um, I'm up. I've enjoyed the season more than I've enjoyed others in the past. Yeah. Personally. I feel good, there's there's grounds there's grounds for, there's grounds for optimism with Arsenal. Good, some good. Stop you're, diving no, everywhere. You're fouling your own players now. Score. Yes. Up your dick. Up your How dick. How can you feel good about that? Because you fouled one of your own yeah. boys. You were so busy trying I, to no, bring I'm me tr- down. I want to just do a wee. Oh, I want to put my food in. But I can't because these two have a conspiracy against no, me. No. Look look at the sickle challenge. Look at this. Yeah. You, des- you deserve everything you get. You know what that is? That's what we call stinking, Kieran. Stinking, Kieran. Stinking. So here we were in Donica Day just before Christmas, right? Oh, yeah. Seamless segues. That's what that's what this podcast is known for. Uh, how did you feel about that gig that night? It was, so good, it was a lot it? of fun. Yeah, I had a good night. Uh, that fucking the the big distillery actually still working behind you was kind of scary though. Yeah, it was fucking roasting, wasn't it? I touched it without realizing, and yeah, absolutely roasting. And that's a file referee. Now I've done one decision. Mate, I was absolutely baked in that gig. Like, I, I, I mean, by the distillery, not like on gear. I wasn't, yeah, yeah. smoking the the reefer. Is that Smoke, what the kids say? Smoking the roach. Um, the papa. Yeah, mate. I don't. Uh, I don't imbibe it with drugs. See, when you were younger, mate. Obviously, you know you weren't as old as you are now. And in those days, ah, that's usually the way. Age in works. those days, would you would you have smoked any reefer, taken no. any drugs, done any gear? I've never taken drugs in my life. 
Would you advise anyone to do it or not? No, oh, I'd advise Yelmaz to make sure when he's providing a piss sample, yeah, there's no drugs in it because. Yeah. I, Look, I mean, you know what? I'm just relaxing here because I know that I, I this is not doing. This okay. is not doing what I just want. Re- so, you, should, you should have done that yeah. on Argo. I know, but, but like, I, I, I believe from what I've seen from your FIFA ability, if on an even ki- you'd be humped by me. I honestly believe that on an even keel. What if, is an even keel? If, 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 if the I'm, buttons do what I what I want them to do, the only way to if you know the, the buttons do, the only way to do an even my keel for us. No, because then I'm off keel. So the only way to do an even keel mm-hmm. is to connect a PlayStation controller and an Xbox controller to a PC. And I'll ride the sideways on. Is that doable, boys? Is that something? I mean, you can't set up a basic Xbox. Why I'm asking you to? But um, <laughs> if we can get people who know what they're doing, that I don't know happen. how these haven't scalped you yet. What? Because they've brought me in front of, of an audience of I don't know how many, and they've made a, made a mockery of me. They've made thousands. a mockery of me. I mean, Yilmaz. Yilmaz! And there's another. Oh, please be on side. Is that right before half time yeah. as well? Mate, but I, they can I, smell the oranges, you know and what? that's why they score. This, this, is, this is like me um, playing rugby with my four year old. I know I wouldn't feel good about it. I, I would feel all right no. about that. Mate, yeah. see whenever. Uh, my nephew was growing up. Mm-hmm. I never let him win on FIFA, and mm-hmm. I see when he wins, it means yeah. something to him. Nice. It means something. And is he good? Or what is he? He is good. No. Yeah. Twenty. Are that Ronan? Yeah, yeah. Maybe twenty. He's just turned twenty-two though, which is mental. Um, well, that's how you. Sorry, twenty-three. Talking. He just turned. Yeah, in December. He um, was he was born at the right at the end of the millennium. Yet. What is the end of the Actually, millennium? Actually, I'm talking shit. He was born in ninety-eight. Um, at the Good Friday Agreement? <laughs> yeah. December 98, that's when he was born. Um, and is he called Ronan after Boyzone? No, I think he's he's called it after uh, the staunch Republican naming system in my family. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, how did you come up with the names for your kids? Um, well, one was born near Christmas. She got called Holly. And I like Roald Dahl, so the other one's Matilda. Go. Is it Roald Dahl? Well, no, it's Matilda. Fucking, <laughs> 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 I was gonna say fucking Trunchbull Elliot. Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's funny, mate. No, but right enough. Is that why he's picked Matilda? Yeah, it's just a cute name. Like I, I like it as an as, as a name. Yeah. And now, like, it's weird because once you name somebody, that's their name. Initially, we were like, I don't know if we would like that name, but now, you know, it's sometimes weird to say Matilda. But when you look at her, it's like that's a rename. Do you think she'll get Tilly? Well, we thought that whenever we first called her that but we kind of it's kind of i call her madge which madge? is not really nice for a young one year old we just say that's a is my is that what madge is short for uh, no i don't know i just i just liked it like see now this is why this is annoying because why did that ball go there because you kicked it there mate the but computer will only do what you tell it if yeah but you've been telling me all this stuff about computer and technology and all this stuff and and i don't know what's going on half the time well, that's probably because you're browbeaten by your responsibilities. Like, you know what I mean? You're all tired out and all. No, man, you I have am, no free time. I am fresh and I am exciting, and I'm fe- I'm feeling good again now. By but the way, I, don't mm-hmm. don't think that uh, that top and gutty combo has gone unnoticed, Dave. <laughs> I, mean, I I know that it matches perfectly. Listen, you know me. I like to make an effort. It's something I've actually said in the studio before. People need to make more of an effort when they turn up in the podcast. It's a job. I always make an effort. You, know, you turn up, get yourself showered, brush your hair. I'm you shining know, today. Like my mate, I have to go to the doctor's after us. My wee fucking bum shining. Just that was get, a good goal. I'm only going to attempt. get. I'm only going to get a vaccine. But you never know when the doctor might say, "Throw it up on the couch here, Twink, and show us do that you, bug." Do you have uh, my doctor's about to retire here, so he's never been an overly sexual guy. Are your where? Where's your doctor based? Like, what's the surge? Uh, it's over in Andy time. Yeah, so over there, do they do things just a little bit different? Well, I don't like, know. Listen, I know you're only here for a booster, but what about a BJ? No. They don't, do, they like, don't do that here in Hollywood? It's not like that. It's more like uh, you're only here for a booster, but I'm going to take you down a notch or two by telling you you're a fat bastard. Um, well, my doctor does that every time. Don't worry about that. He's like, I just mean Have he, you thought any more about losing weight? Yes. Oh, Have the, you done that, anything? Have no. one, of, one of my people moved up to there? What? One of, <laughs> one of, one of mine. All doctors are one Guys. of yours, if... Um, did you hear Sean Deitch, the Burnley manager, has tested positive for COVID? No, I didn't hear that. Because that's what he needs, a more gravelly voice. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking, if there was any more gravel in his voice, mm-hmm. Tiggs would be playing Gaelic on would it. You li- <laughs> would you like it if he um, did a podcast with John Fury? 
Who's John Fury? Tyson Fury's dad. I don't know. He's the most gravel. Does voice. he also have one? He speaks like this. He's always angry. I would love. I would love to see oh, Sean Deitch singing Stereophonics, because um, <laughs> I think it would be good. But uh, do you fan of Deitch? Yeah, you need to be careful how you say that because I know it can be considered as a as a hateful term in some circles. Deitch. Yeah, anti pride. So you know, if if you are we're calling a, a woman who maybe is into woman a Deitch, it's offensive. <laughs> you know. Can't really say that anymore. Well, I uh, no, I, I do, I do like him. Yeah, I think he's. He, I actually think he's extremely underrated because he's with Barnley. But like when you consider that he's, is this a sweat? Oh, it's a sweat. I feel he's one of the. Um, he keeps the, last in the Premier League. Yeah, like the last old school coaches. You know what? I view this as a victory for me because my goal was the best goal, and I still don't know. It, it maybe was the best goal, but you've conceded four, and yep. you have a man but off. But I so. can't, I can't change players to go to tackle. I mean, have you noticed so, that both times your you controls know. have been fine? That um, my controls aren't fine. This is on classic well, setting. It must be. Fine. Yeah, because I hit circle or B, sorry, instead of uh, I hit circle. Instead of I see, I think a true gamer mm. rolls with a punch. Hey Steve. man, I'm not. You know a, I mean? I'm not. I'm not a true gamer. Exactly. I am a normal person. Well, see, a tr- I'm, a I'm, a tr- true, I'm a true, a true gamer. gamer. I think if you handed me a fucking card, I could make. Oh, look! I've just bowled my own player again. There you go. Oh, that's the best goal. <coughs> that's the best finish. Did you see it? No, it's not the best finish. Your keeper didn't even fucking move. Yes, yeah, not the best. Here's finish. the keeper. No point. That's yeah. what he said. He literally knew there was no point. Right. Okay. Best finish. Now, look would good. you just, for the sake of your of your fans and listeners off the podcast, wait, mine was more than a postage stamp than that. Would you, if I were to bring a PlayStation in, play me on the PlayStation, or would you? I would, but you have to arrive early and set it all up. That's okay. Dan I can... and Michael don't have to be involved in that. Good. Well, we'll they'll, be, they'll be busy maybe we don't. Up. Maybe we don't do a podcast. Maybe we just play as, as friends. I, w- I would you just know, meet you as friends. Play as friends. Um, as soon as you've provided me with a negative lateral flow, Dave. Um, I mean, I am I'm negative. I'm only joking. Fucking do it. PlayStation. Oh! He's oh. rage quit! The first you said this was gonna be the worst. You said this was gonna be the worst episode. Uh-huh. This is the first rage quit. No, the computer shot itself. We, down we got again. as far in. The computer shot itself. Down we got as far in. The Xbox it's episode two. The Xbox. And we'll have a rage quit. The Xbox shot itself. I'm sorry. He didn't just set his controller it shut down, itself down or quit the game. It shut itself. He down. He turned off the console. Hey, it shut itself down. <laughs> it's not my fault. The technology doesn't make. He any says sense. he doesn't know how to even uh-huh. do things. He knew how mm-hmm. to switch it off. He knows how to yeah. rage. What are you looking at me like that for? Sentence or balls? In I'm sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> to the listeners. Before before we wrap this, this Dave. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did you bring... Have you brought me... Well, I asked you to bring me. What? Have you brought me a less than five pound gift? Yeah. Do you want to exchange uh, yeah. gifts? Yeah, sure. I don't I, know if I put my gift in here, though. I've got you my recently um, duplicate <laughs> Christmas, Christmas gift. Yeah. Of you Will know Smith's. what? My, I got two of these and two uh-huh. Schmeichel books. My gift's kind of uh, it's obsolete now, really, in many regards, because I, I I bought you bought you Sudocrem for your wee bomb after I was going to spank you. But the setup of this computer, sorry, there's so a poor, there's a bit of hobnob from earlier. It's been so poor that the antiseptic healing cream I maybe need to keep it for myself. Do you know I'll only accept you this off you if it's been opened before and has like a wee fucking Nutella streak. No, it, you know? it's not never been opened. Brand Thanks new. very much. Because, I mean, you can use Sudocreme for... I mean, th- tell me if you ever had any of these, nappy rash. I've had nappy rash. Eczema. Does it, does it say nappy or napkin rash? Nappy. All right, it used to say napkin rash. Eczema. I don't have eczema, no. This is this is one I've never heard of before, but I like surface wounds. Do you, I do, I you, do get surface wounds. Do you ever wounds? get into... Oh, what are surface wounds? Just any cuts Just like stuff. wee bits. I got a surface yeah. wound put in the Christmas tree away. Looks like I was trying to kill myself, sly. Sunburn. I've had some burn. Minor burns. I've had a minor I've got burn. third degree burns after that fucking shit show. Mm. Um, acne. I've had acne. What about bed sores? I don't have bed sores. And I no. don't have chill blains. <laughs> which it sometimes what are, says it it does. Do. That's the last of what are chill blains? I don't know. Could you Google chill blains there if your tech works? Um, and tell me <laughs> what it means, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? Have, have you ever had those things? I don't know what they are. But I'm, have I'm you sure. had eczema though? No, or eczema. No, I mean I haven't. I I have had. No, I had didn't have nappy rash because they used like the finest cotton. Which one on sounds more like a West Belfast name, right? When you shout it, is it eczema or is it eczema? I think it's that one. Eczema, yeah. Sounds I think we say our chill blains. You're a one. What? Chill blains. Chill blains. What are Chill blains are small itchy red patches that can appear after you've been out in the cold. 
I get small itchy red yeah. patches, but usually not from being out in the cold. Now, once do I need to read a bit of this book on the podcast? No. And do you need to apply some of this? No. Because what, you, what away, you can do, exchange of gifts. you can apply a thin layer to the skin as required. That's what I do. So. Are you a rub? Are you a rub or inzer, or are you a? Are you a rubber inner, or are you a apply and leavesy? I'm a rubber inner. I'm a rubber yeah. inner as well. The only thing is, you put too much on. A bit, like if I got told off by I my hope. wife, she said, yeah, of course. Thanks. She said, you put on too much cream on the baby's bum. I like and I said, well, I'm not a fucking nurse. I've not been to school for years to learn how to put on cream, cream. Yeah. you know. Do you know, is this also from an Irish company? I think this is made down south. Yeah, it could. It is. So, yeah. It's made by Tazara Pharma, F- Pharma. Which, as we all know, is Irish for Tazara Farm. Here he is. Where's Billy? Oh, Willie T. Making a lot of noise. Now, is this podcast still recording? Yeah. Yeah. We're just finishing okay, nice. this one. Yeah. Do we have any final questions on this one? Or are we good? Yeah. Dave, thanks for coming. It's been well. You know what? It's I been would, terrible in yeah, many ways, yeah, but um, I'm glad that I was able to put you to the sword. Dave Rage quit, yeah. by the way, Willie. Just so you know. So uh, we'll get yeah. into that after. He's mm. he, he needs. I think he needs a Prozac and a lie down. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly a lie down. Yeah. Do you, Do you want me to give you a wee just a wee? I'll cop them. Nope. Okay. Nope, I don't. Well, the things to take away from this week for me are. First thing, a pseudocrem, which I don't need because I burnt Dave instead. And uh, Hobnobs are through the next round of the, F- the Biscuit World Cup. So it's been emotional. Tune in next week when I will be riding William uh, Sideways, and, uh, which isn't even his name. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> good afternoon, Mr. Sideways. Uh, yeah. So I'm Is that ra- what you say before you ride people? You <laughs> greet them in that voice? Ah! I, gr- I greet them with, you know, good evening, Miss Doggy <laughs> Style. You know what I mean? Whatever, you know. Anyway. Is that um, your favorite style? No. Um, what I pre- is? I prefer to be suspended on hooks for a few hours. <laughs> um, Who does that? What celebrity does that? What? Gets their skin all hooked up to the roof and all. And probably Marilyn Manson. Local, local celebrity, Karen Bartlett. You know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, people said, maybe you ever suspended? And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have, haven't we all been but um no no nah, i definitely prefer around. sticking a fucking marcy's bag over it but um so wouldn't do tesco bag it's disgusting no. so it's too low do you know true story i got caught by my wife throwing out all my other bags for life bar the marks and spencer's ones and she went that's the most middle class thing i've ever seen that is very middle class yeah. and i said i didn't even realize what i was doing but i was folding all the wee green marcy's bags i like putting them away a bin and the rest of them i have uh, a big pink marcy's bag that i Used to hate. That sounds like it's a, it's a tea bag joke on the route. Yeah. I have a big fucking pink bag. Pink bag. <laughs> <laughs> Skin's tough. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been emotional. So, um, as you as you have all seen, mm. I win and Dave quits. Doesn't That's what happens when when you come on no blast. No, what I will say, what I will say in regards to that, Dave just got fed up. Like like in the real world of injustice. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick well, of it. I will stick up for those who need. I'm gonna stuff send footage of this to Christy Moore and see will he write a song about you. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, no.